Thanks, honey. Lieutenant, honey. <laughs> well, I move, Chuck. Isn't she lovely? Yeah, I got a feeling business is going to be picking up on sick call. You know, she reminds me of a pom-pom girl I knew once in college. <laughs> next? All right, now, who's next here? Come on, step up. Quickly, people, quickly. You're next, Ensign. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Lieutenant. Thank you, Mr. Sorry, Parker. Ensign, sorry, Parker. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I'm not sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. I got you confused, but I'm not sorry. I'm Charles. Charles Malcolm Parker. Boy, you sure have a delicate touch. I didn't feel a thing. I haven't done it yet, Ensign. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Hey, look great there, Charles Malcolm. <laughs> Oh. Hi, Skip. Uh, you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Mm. Boy, it must be the humidity in here. Oh. Hey, uh, isn't she lovely? Well, I'll tell you this. I'd like to have her on my side in a hand-to-hand -hand combat. <laughs> so, you know, Skip, I was thinking... <clears throat> of course, now, if you don't like the idea, just say so, but... Could I ask her over to the base for dinner? Well, isn't she a little high in the hull for you, Chuck? You know, I bet she'd get kind of a kick out of seeing how frontline fighting men live. You know what? What do you mean, too tall? I'm five foot seven. Well, you go ahead and ask her then. <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, well, maybe she is too tall. No, no, come on. Now you go ask her. Now look, go ahead. That's an order. Well, all right. <laughs> aye, aye, sir. Ensign Parker would like to know if you'd care to have dinner with us tonight at our base. Oh, I'd be delighted, Commander. Good. Good! <laughs> Boy, she was even better the second time. <laughs> and make him throw a longer shadow, make him look taller. Say, how come Mr. Parker didn't pick out someone his own size? At least he'd have a fighting chance. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You just gave me an idea. Wait, wait, wait. There. <laughs> You're not going to operate on him with that, are you? No, I'm going to work on his girlfriend. Timber! Oh. I'm going to create an illusion. Oh, like I used to do in Vaudeville. You're going to saw her in half. You know, I'm going to bring her down to Charlie's size. Oh, lad. One. Skip us on. Yeah. Who did quit? What now? How I make teriyaki with no shrimp? I need a shrimp. Uh, don't we have any kind of fish? I got some private stock. A jog, a filter fish mom sent. Well, I'd be glad to. A beauty fish? Yeah. What kind of a barbarian are you? You never heard of me. A filter fish? It's an American delicacy caught off the coast of Flatbush, Fuji. <laughs> oh, a filter fish. Very good. I'll get it. Okay. Now make it fast, will you, Fuji? To be here quickly. There's another one here. You there. Climb up out of there. Now, all right, try that one over there. 
Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Excuse me, Skip. Didn't mean to break anything up. Ah, come on. <laughs> Figured maybe this would liven up the party a mite. My homemade hundred proof branded peaches. Oh, man, he's got to be the happiest peaches in town. <laughs> I got a hunch that right after dessert, Charlie's going to look ten feet tall than a lady. <laughs> Much obliged, Willie. Sure thing. <laughs> here they come now, Skip. Ooh. Hey, hey, you guys, come here. Come here, quick. Come here. Now, look, we got to help Charlie as much as we can, right? What else can we do, Skip? Well, for one thing, don't stand so tall. Uh, slump a little bit. Slump. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. That's good, good. All right. <laughs> Proud of you, Ben. Well, 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 well. Welcome ashore, Lieutenant. Thank you. <laughs> Trust you had a pleasant voyage. Yes, it was very exciting. Mr. Parker thought he sighted a Jap sub. Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, Lieutenant, I guess you've met the rest of the crew. <laughs> yes, I have. All right, now, straighten up, boys. I told Lieutenant this is a proud outfit. Now, don't make a liar out of your executive office. <laughs> well, uh, dismissed. I have a lot of work to do. Uh, Lieutenant, uh, wouldn't you care to sit down? Oh, uh, here, Skipper, allow me, right over here. Uh, well, uh, Charlie, I think the Lieutenant would be more comfortable over here. Uh, Skipper, you forgot the moon. It would be right in her eyes. <laughs> over here, uh, Lieutenant. <laughs> Uh, Skip, you're the commanding officer, uh, head of the table. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> he gets so darn excited when we have girls around. And... Oh, boy. Oh, we, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and then the ground is very soft, you know, monsoons. Mmm. <laughs> 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 Uh, well, uh, well, uh, well, have you had any interesting patients lately? Not really. Things are a little more challenging over on Vela Lavala. Oh, uh, uh, the rest camp. I was assisting, thank you, I was assisting the chief psychiatrist with battle fatigue cases. I'm fascinated with the subject. But the Navy pulled me off and sent me here. Oh, isn't that the way with the Navy? You know, I had a heck of a time getting transferred to a frontline outfit myself. <laughs> yes, I imagine you did. <laughs> Yeah, but don't let the flies fool you. He's a, he's a giant in action. <laughs> oh, no, let's not bore Lieutenant with my war record. <laughs> mm, this is delicious. Uh, genuine teriyaki. Do you know, this is a very authentic flavor, except for, um... gefilte fish? <laughs> you know, uh, speaking of fish, brings to mind Ren Goa. You know, the Skip and I were there, and there was this Jap sub base. Peaches? I haven't seen peaches in six months. Well, uh, you can have your fill tonight. <laughs> you better open them, Chuck. You're stronger than I am. <laughs> uh, certainly. Actually, it's it's not a matter of strength. It's just leverage. <clears throat> you, uh, same principle as judo. You just use the object itself as leverage, and then uh, twist it with the... The wrist. <laughs> You're right off. Uh, 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 thanks, Skip. <clears throat> Sometimes the rubber suction cup will stick out. <clears throat> uh, may I try? <clears throat> oh, <laughs> it's probably a little rust in, in the top of the... Uh... <laughs> well, uh, you loosened it for me. <laughs> Chuck, uh, don't you think you've had about enough? Don't worry about me. I can hold my peaches. <laughs> Reflexes never affected my alcohol. <laughs> cool. <clears throat> well, I hate to say it, but I better get back to the base. I'm on duty in an hour. <laughs> well, let's have one more for the road. Oh, they were great, but I couldn't. Thank you. <clears throat> you know, speaking of great, reminds me of Alexander the Great. Did you know that he was only five foot two? Yeah, little runts, all of them. Napoleon, Toulouse Lautrec, Davy Crockett. Davy Crockett? I thought he was six feet tall. Oh, well, no, he ain't in Texas that short. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> well, good night, Quentin, and thank you for a delightful evening. Perfectly all right. Come again any time, Case. I'd love to. <laughs> and what about Mickey Rooney? <laughs> <laughs> 
How about Julius Caesar? He did all right with Cleopatra for a little fella. Ma'am? Come on, sir. I'll help you. So I told him, Kings. Cars, and all of a sudden, I get beat out everything right at the Hi, Skip. Hi. How's little boy Blue? <laughs> Blue is the word. <laughs> Poor little fella. Hey, hey, can that word little, will you? Hey, look, fellas. If Charlie was wounded, we'd give him suffer, wouldn't we? Sure we would. Well, now that he's a casualty over here, it's up to us to take care of him, right? With sulfur? No, with a tall drink of water named Casey Brown. If he wants her, you ought to have her. Oh, she's a tough objective, Skip. So is Mount Surajima's tough objective. She's taller. Yeah, but the taller they are, remember? <laughs> now, look, number one, what is a nurse's weak spot? Sick people. Right. So Mr. Parker's sick and we take him to the hospital. Hey, how about we shoot him in the leg and say he got it in action? A limp can be very romantic. Nah, nah. Hey, let's give Charlie a disease. Uh huh. Now that's my way of thinking. Go ahead. Go ahead. Malaria. Nah. Everybody in the hospital got malaria. It wouldn't stand out. Amnesia. I once saw a picture where Ronald Coleman and he had. Hey! Battle fatigue. That's it. Casey's been studying it. She's crazy about. She'd love him with battle fatigue. Now look, we've all known the guys with jungle jollies, right? What were the symptoms? Their nerves are shot. Yeah, and they lose their heads at any itty bitty noise. They lose their memory. I once knew a guy who couldn't even remember his own name, and his name was John Smith. <laughs> Gentlemen, I am pleased to announce that Mr. Parker will shortly come down with a beautiful case of battle fatigue. But, Skipper, Mr. Parker's too navy. He'd never go for a scheme like that. So who's going to tell him? Huh? <laughs> hey, Fuji, here comes Parker. You got his cup ready? Awesome. Could you use whole quarter pound of butter on the handle? Next time, I'm gonna switch the lower price spread. <laughs> ah, coffee, Mr. Parker? Oh, thanks. <laughs> What's the matter, Chuck? Losing your grip? I don't know. You know, that's the third time today that's happened. No, it's the fifth time. But quit worrying. What's a little temporary loss of coordination? <laughs> Here they are, Mr. Parker. Oh. <laughs> What they? There's these ping pong balls. I counted them like you asked. 36 dozen, 432 exactly. Now, what would I do with 36 dozen ping pong balls? That's what I asked you this morning when you sent me the supply for them. Are you kidding? That's what Brownson over at Supply said. His eyebrows still haven't come down. I got him, Mr. Parker. I had a tough time, but I got him. You want to sign for him? Yeah, for what? The eight propeller shafts you ordered. Oh, yeah. Eight propeller shafts? Are you flipped? There, there now, Chuck. A little temporary loss of memory can happen to any sensitive man under pressure. It's when your nerves start going that you got trouble, boy. <laughs> yeah, what time you got? Uh, seven seconds to three. Uh, five, four, three, two. Light it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Station. You hear what, Chuck? What do you mean, you hear what, Chuck? You guys deaf? What'd it sound like to you? What did it sound like? Like a... Boom! <laughs> uh, Chuck. What's the gag? That's what I'd like to know. Look, Chuck. If you've been studying up on battle fatigue, it's not going to work, buddy. I don't have battle fatigue. <clears throat> I didn't hear that either. <laughs> well, <laughs> here we all are again. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, <laughs> say, Skip, uh, <laughs> get me to the hospital. <laughs> hey, did you hear that? What, what? 
That sound of distant gunfire. That was only me fluffing your pillows. Oh, <laughs> noisy feathers. <laughs> hey, Skip, tell me about Maracura again. Again, Chuck? I've already told you three times. Yeah, but I don't remember any of it. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, we were sent to Maracura to uh, harass and observe the Japs. And uh, I needed a volunteer for a special reconnaissance mission. So, without hesitation, you stepped forward and said, uh, let me go, Chief. Well, I tried to talk you out of it, but like always, I just couldn't. So, armed only with a pistol, you walked into the jungle. Suddenly, you felt the cold barrel of a Jap machine gun up against your neck. You froze. And you whirled. And what? Quacked and you had him on your back screaming for mercy! Three against one! You were magnificent! I must have been. I only wish I could remember it. Uh, hey, Skipper, tell me again, will you? Well, uh, Four times is enough for one day. Now you go to sleep. Yeah. Ace, you've been through heck. <laughs> Try to forget it, buddy. Yeah, but what's the use of being a hero if you're so fuzzy on the details? Yeah. You'll make it, Ace. See you, boy. Let's see. Oh, Chuck, darling, if you were here to fold me in your arms and let me snuggle my little head against your tall chest, I would... Oh, come on, Skip. Give me a break. I, I can't write a love letter with someone peeking over my shoulder. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, Virg. <laughs> Hi, how you doing, Willie? Well, so far, I've got dearest cheery. Uh, that's French for boyfriend, ain't it? That's close enough. Go on. Well, that's as far as I got. That's all the French I know, except bon voyage and lingerie, and I can't figure out how to work both of them into a sentence. Uh, <laughs> keep trying, boy. Keep trying. You know what we got to do, men, is to make our man look like a, a cross between... Uh... Hey, hey, that's beautiful, Fuji. Look at this, fellas. In Japanese, no less. <laughs> <laughs> Great, Fooch. Uh, we gotta make him look like a cross between uh, uh, Rudolph Valentino and Jack the Giant Killer. Jack the Giant Killer? Sure. Yeah. Oh, maybe Mr. Parker won't look so short lying down, huh? <laughs> How's this, Skipper? Yeah, let's see. Hey, Verge. <laughs> Lover boy, listen to this. My own darling beloved, no more shall my eyes drink the sight of you like wine, nor with a look that is a kiss. Follow the sweet grace of you. Farewell, my treasure, my love. I am never away from you. In another world, I shall still be the one who loves you beyond measure. Signed, your pen pal, Roxanne. Oh, that's pretty good, Tink. Pretty good, nothing, that's perfect. Cyrano the Birds Act, Act 5, Scene 3. <laughs> yes, sir, Chuck, just great. Great! <laughs> Another couple of weeks under Casey's care and you'll be your old fighting self again. <laughs> and look at all the mail you got. Did he show you any of the letters been pouring in lately? Well, Ensign Parker says there must be some mistake. He doesn't know any of these people. Ah, oh, the poor kid. Still draws a blank, huh? Even to his love life. Maybe I can help remember his days of glory. Hey, look at this. A Hollywood postmark. <laughs> I'll bet it's for Marlena Dietrich, Chuck. <laughs> no. No, hers come in lavender. No, this, this smells more like Betty Grable. Orange blossomy kind of, uh, wouldn't you say? It smells to me like men's aftershave lotion. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh... Uh, well, we're both wrong. It's from Rita. Rita Hayworth, Chuck. Remember that Saturday night in San Diego? Yeah, she entertained the fleet from a flat top. Yeah, well, <laughs> she hasn't forgotten you, buddy. Listen to this. Dearest Charles, showbiz doesn't seem the same without you. Why don't you write? You know, I don't understand. I was way up in the crow's nest, and I just whistled at her a little. I didn't even think she noticed me. <laughs> hey, look at this. From the girl next door, Troy, New York. I live in Schenectady. Oh, well, she moved. Uh, you want me to read it to you, buddy? Oh, no thanks, Skip. Ah, oh, you're right. I shouldn't be reading this. It's much too personal. Look, why don't I just step outside and let Casey read it to you? 
I know she knows how much it'll do for your morale, buddy. Right. Stay with him, Ace. You know, uh, I didn't want to say anything while the skipper was here, Lieutenant, but is battle fatigue contagious? He's been acting awful strange lately. Who hasn't? <laughs> you want me to read this to you? All right. But before you start, I want to say one thing. There's nothing between me and this girl. Honest. But you don't even know who it's from yet. Doesn't make any difference. There was never anything between me and any girl. <laughs> my own dearly beloved, no more shall my eyes drink the sight of you like wine, uh, nor with a look that is a kiss follow the sweet grace of you. <laughs> Farewell, my treasure, my love. I am never away from you. In another world, I shall still be the one who loves you beyond measure. Signed, your pen pal, Roxanne. You got a tissue? <laughs> what a crazy kid writes a gutsy letter. <laughs> I only wish I could remember her. Him. Him. Him? <laughs> You mean Roxanne's a him? Mm -hmm. Edmund Rostand. Cyrano de Bergerac, Act 5, Scene 3. <laughs> Cyrano de Bergerac? Hey, wasn't he the guy who had the idea that he was so ugly because he had a big, long, hideous nose? That's right. Yeah. And he and another guy were in love with the same woman. And Cyrano wrote beautiful love letters to her so that she'd fall in love with him even though it was breaking his own heart. Huh. Well, two can play at that game. Casey, I've got a confession to make. Quentin loves you. Commander McHale? Well, but he can. Ha, had me fooled at first, too. <laughs> him forcing me to ask you to dinner, and then plying me with those brandy peaches to get me out of the way. Ha. But he can't be. Then pretending all those battles fatigue me. Ha, was just a cover, so he could get me in here and be near you. Ensign Parker, he can't be in love with me. I'm already married. Ha. Casey, you and I know that you're in love with me. But in all fairness, I... <laughs> What do you mean you're already married? My husband is a pilot in the transport command. Well, then what's a big idea leading McHale on? <laughs> now, don't forget our party. Bye-bye, baby. Hey, Skipper, wait a minute. Hey, what are you doing out of bed? Oh, I wouldn't stay in this hospital another minute with that two-time Jezebel. <laughs> Skipper, you gotta forget her. She's not for you. What are you talking about? You're in love with a married woman. Oh? Don't worry, Skip. There are plenty of other fish in the ocean. And somewhere out there, there's a woman who'll love you for what you are. In spite of your nose. of rest and recreation in Sydney, Australia. <laughs> Chucky boy, you really got it made. Oh, I'm sorry, Skipper. I feel like a rat, but orders are orders. Well, you can't argue with the medics, so have a ball. But look, whatever you do, pick on a girl your own size, will you? <laughs> Here I am, Mr. Parker, reporting for duty, sir. Shall I carry you back to Sydney? I, I mean the boat, as ordered. I didn't order you to do that. You didn't? I could have sworn. I must be losing my memory. Your gig is ready, Mr. Kartmeyer. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Kartmeyer? Now, look, you little weasel. You know his name is Parker. And... Hey! What was that? What was what? I didn't hear anything. <laughs> okay, you gold bricks. You're staying right here on Devil's Idol along with the rest of us battles with these cases. Now, out! 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 Get out of here! 